Get ready to enter the Thrive Time Show. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, and we'll show you how to get here. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom, now we're on the top. Teaching you the systems to get what we got. Clinton Dixon's on the hooks, I break down the books. Z's bringing some wisdom and the good looks. As the father of five, that's why I'm a dive. So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's the C and Z up on your radio. And now three, two, one, here we go. We started from the bottom, now we here. Welcome to this episode of the Thrive Time Podcast. Join today with Dr. Z and Claytron, and we're pumped to be getting into uh, the work life balance, the, the transition Ooh. from from being working all day, being in alpha mode, and then transitioning into the family time. And so, Dr. Z, I know that this is something that you really excel in because you're in alpha mode the entire day. You run the optometry clinic, the sleep center, the horse ranch, the auto auction, a ton of of different businesses and so you have to be in alpha mode to be able to manage it all how got you to get her done to get her done um how do you make that transition what what is you know for for this thriver that's uh asking about these different things uh, kind of why is this such a hard thing for a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners to deal with well, two-part question there. First one is how I do it, and that's uh, done with scotch. Uh, just uh, <laughs> my personal favorite's Lagavulin. If anybody wants to send me some for a, a gift, um, yeah. And uh, no, <laughs> no, you. Everybody has their moves, and you have to find your move. Step one, you got to find your move. In other words, how do you transition from being the 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 leader and the boss? to be in the husband and the father because they are different. And if you come home and you try to be the boss at home, uh, it, it sometimes it doesn't work out so well. Okay, so this is what our Thriver from Wichita writes. Okay, okay all this, right. is, this is what he writes, and we're going to get into it. This mailbag. So if you have a question, we actually answer real questions from real Thrivers from all over the world from you guys okay so send us it at info at thrive15.com or you can go to the site thrive15.com and ask us any business question okay so this is from our thriver in wichita nice okay so this question came to mind after i arrived home was somewhat abrasive to my wife and son as i was still in kick butt work mode okay yeah. and was called out on it what are some strategies to avoid being a man bear pig with your spouse and family so dr z get us into it how do you do that how do you make the transition decompress well, first of all, you've got to understand that you need to, and that's step one. You got to you got to you got to understand there's a problem if you come home and you treat your family the way you treat your employees. I've tried it; it didn't work out so well. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, I, Yo, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's it doesn't go over well. You know, you're so used to you're not in a mean way, but you're so used to being the boss, and you tell someone to do, it and they do it. You know, and then you come home and you expect that same, and then you're like, I'm going to fire you, and you're like, Dad, you can't. You're I'm your kid. Are you, you know? Are like, you reading my? email to Marsh, my secret email to Z. Is that where this question came copy? from? Did you blind copy? Did you? I feel like this is something we all need to learn though. I mean, this is. So step one is understanding that you have to be different. You know, one of the things I, I teach my doctors and one of the things that I teach my employees is the importance of the term showtime in my life. And that is, is that when a, when a patient comes in or a, a business, um, um, you know, client is there. You have to be showtime in the sense that everything else doesn't matter. Everything else you need to just take off your plate. Yep. And you need to focus completely on that individual and that situation. And so back when I was seeing patients on a daily basis, before I'd walk into every exam room, I'd try to just clear my mind a little bit. And I would get that mentality of, okay, the only thing that matters for the next however many minutes is making this person happy and connecting with them yep. and being totally focused on them. Right. Right. And so uh, you do that. At, I do that at work and I and I teach my people how to do that at work. And then now step two is how to undo that or better yet, how to direct that now to the family. Now, I will say this. These are some specific examples of where I know I've screwed up and I try to get better over time. But these are just some examples of these of this kind of. Uh, it's this great paradox. It's this great, you go, what I thought you said. So one is like in your business, you want to have perfection. Yeah. You want to try. Sure. Your showtime. You're shooting for it. Turn the, emo turn the emotions off. 
Get it done while the customer. If you don't, they're not coming back. Keep the bathroom perfectly clean. Use a checklist. No screw-ups. Organized. Perfection. That's what we're getting paid to do. Right. If someone doesn't do it, I say, hey, do you want to work here? I mean, if it happens consistent, you know what I mean? Sure. Do you want to work here? Or usually I'll say, did you not know what to do? Pretty aggressively, though. Did you not know what to do? And they're like, no, I, I did. I just chose not to. Yeah. Okay, well, those are the, this is the expectations. <laughs> I think you're a great guy. But if you do that again, we're going to have some issues. So let's not have issues. You're a great guy. Let's move on. Yeah. Don't do that at home. Yeah, teach you. <laughs> <laughs> and so anybody who's an alpha entrepreneur, man or woman, We've all made the mistake. So what I want to get into is, and I don't want to you know, ever mention your you know, specifics unless you want to, but how, what do you say, the same situation. So at work, it's very, you know, if, you, if it's not a clean bathroom, we have a problem here. Yeah. If at home you come home and it's not a clean bathroom, you know, family needs a place to like relax and not be on Showtime, right? We need right. a place where we're not. That's why a lot of celebrities crash. They're always on Showtime. Yeah. So what, what advice would you have? What kind of thing would you say to maybe, you, would you encourage someone to say to their, to their spouse or their family if the room's not clean at home, whereas at work, what would you say if the room's not clean, so to speak? Well, um, I'll get to that. But first, I want to talk about my move. Okay. Uh, my move is I have a, a, my man cave and my family knows that when I come home, um we don't barrage dad or husband with a bunch of problems or issues until he's had his 30 minutes just of just downtime quiet time uh read i just maybe listen to some music i just relax okay. and i just kind of empty my mind if you will of of stuff but you've had this conversation. You've said, "Hey, I, from yeah, yeah. henceforth, I'd like to have at least a thirty-minute decompression." Yeah, just give, me, just give me a little window here. Okay. Don't just don't pound on me when I come in the front door. Don't catch me when I'm pulling in the driveway. And you know, Billy stole my, you know, mom, yeah. you know, but da da da. And so <laughs> I uh, just remembered a funny story right then. I'll I'll get to her in a second. But uh, um, so you know, that that was my move was just quiet time. And, and I think a lot of it is because, you know, my business is when I was doing um, a lot of it's not I'm not sitting in a cubicle just by myself. I mean, I've got people around me. Everybody's trying to get my time and attention throughout the day. And so I'm always constantly dealing and talking and, and people and issues and problems. Um, and so I just that that time just of <sighs> nobody has access to me. Nobody's talking to me. Nobody is just my little bubble. I'm in my little bubble for a little bit. And then I come out of my bubble. I'm, I come out of my man cave and I have transformed. And from, uh, from that question, I'm from a man bear pig. Is that what it was, yeah, Marshall? Yeah, man bear pig. Man bear pig, yeah. And that's the thing, by the way. Um, I've transformed from that into this sweet, loving, kind poppy, as my kids call me. So I, I want to ask you about the story because you, know, you, you did the whole foreshadowing thing where you said I, it reminds me of a story. I, I have to know the story. What's the story? Well, years ago, um, when, you know, before cell phones, really, we, um, I had a pager. I was important because a pager on your hip meant you were important. Yeah. Excuse me. I have to check my pager. So, and one day I'm at work and my pager goes off and it's a voice message. So I go to the phone, I pick up the phone and I, dit, 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 and I listen to it. And it's my daughter. And at the time she is, let's see, this would have been, um, she's like three. And she leaves this emotional weeping message on my thing about how her mother, my wife, was not treating her well, <laughs> was being mean to her. <laughs> it just ripped my little heart out. So as soon as I was done listening to the message, I hung up and I called home. And I got my wife on the phone. So oh my gosh, what's going on with Bridget? And she was like, what are you, what are you talking about? I said, well, she just called off me a message. She goes, oh my gosh. Yeah, she wanted another cookie and I wouldn't give it to her. So, I mean, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm like, oh, she made it sound, she sold me on this idea that, that I thought she, mom, that her mom had her like in chains down in the basement or something. Yeah, and, yeah. and the fact she even knew my pager number, we didn't even know. She knew it. She knew how to leave a message. It was so, it was kind of a, that's that's what I was thinking about. I, 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 I just know that for me, we have five kids and I know my kids will joke with us, but I have, we have like these ducks. And I always pick them up, and I'm always holding the ducks and kind of petting the ducks. And I, it's like two different per per personalities. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't call it fake. I would just call it appropriate. Yeah. So um, every Thriver, we all go through something. Everyone has a, a, fam a family member with an illness. You mm -hmm. know, everybody has. Uh, and, you know, my dad's going through some stuff right now. And, and, you know, what you do is you don't bring that to work every second of the day and dwell on it. You have to block it out. And you mm -hmm. have to go, I'm at work. Yeah. 
for the purpose of adding value to customers in exchange for a profit. Let's go there. Yeah. But then when you come home, you can't say, okay, mom, dad, you're having a personal issue, a health issue, uh, and as few seconds as possible because I got to head into a board meeting, answer. Yeah. You have to have time to emotionally connect. And, and I think right. what you said is so wise. I kind of view it as like hitting the brakes. Yeah. If you're a smart person, you don't want to replace your brakes every week. When you, you kind of put a little bit of you know a little bit you know, you take your foot off the gas and you kind of slow, slow down you slow down you maybe hit the apply the brake a little bit and you come to a nice stop even stop yeah we expect our employees to do the same thing in other words don't bring your home issues to the workplace yeah you know, that's something i preach all the time that's one of my one of my moves i have to talk about hey don't let the drama trauma of your facebook page come into the workplace right yeah and so it's it's just the reverse going back home you don't want the drama trauma of work uh, coming home and affecting how you it's easy to say and with practice you can do it um but you have to first you know understand it find out what your move is and then do your move on a regular basis and communicate with everybody Let everybody know you know and i would also say a little bonus tip here for the for our thriver make sure you turn your phone off at some point let your team know hey um gary's on call tonight i'm not going to be because i'm with my family and you put the phone off you turn the phone whatever your process is but you don't because sometimes you can be in that calm mode and you get a business call and now you're back into like 90 miles an hour mode. So as soon as you get your revenue up to where it can be sustained, where you don't need to be called every second, I encourage you to do that. Because I mean, can't you get stressed out real fast back into work mode? If Yeah, I, I get home, my phone goes off and they have they know uh, an emergency number to reach me if it's an emergency. And and you just you just have to do that move. You can't you know, if you when you it. I see this now more and more and more in life. I see people that are with people, but they're not with them. Yeah, you know, it frustrates me. It, and it's just like, be with the people you're with, you know? And that's so important. And it's it's a part of life that just so many people seems like they're missing out on. They want to, I'm like, okay, if you want to be with that person, go be with them, but be with them. You know, don't try to be with 12 people at the same time. You can't do it. And it just, nobody then enjoys your time. Nobody wants to be around you. Naval you know? um, is a guy who wrote the book Pitch Hacks. He's really big in the venture capital world. world. He started, what is the website? Angel List. Angel List. He started Angel List. And Wrote he had a book, fa- Pitching Hacks. He has a fascinating interview he did with Tim Ferriss, but he talks, he says exactly what you're saying. This is a guy who's built one of the top, most successful Silicon Valley resumes as an investor out there. Yeah. And he says that Facebook um, and Twitter and these different things are, are a game that these companies, and he knows the founders, they've created this game and, and they win the more you're on it. Right. So the more you're on it, they can sell more ads, the more they sure. win. And he says, hey, I, I encourage you to find a way to be mentally and physically present when you're with people. And one way to do it is to stay off of that stuff. I mean, yeah. It's okay to be on social media and be relevant if you want to, you know, but, but you got to have, if, if you're on social media, be all in social media. Just be like, lose everything, focus on it for 30 minutes or 10 minutes and right. just be in, enjoy it. But when you're off, be off. Don't be tw- with 12 people. Don't let them time. always be able to pull you back into it whenever they want to pull you back into it. You be in control of that. You be in charge of that of your life, you know. Um, it's so important. Unless you're getting Thrive notifications. Never turn those off. And whenever you <laughs> get a new video, course. watch those yes, immediately. always. No up, boundaries. No boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So once again, our research team of Honey Badgers have gone deep into the fact-finding vault, and we have pulled a mystic statistic for Ooh. you guys. It's awesome. You guys got to hear this. So CNN Money, okay, CNN Money did a study, and half of the participants said that work has intruded on their time spent with family and friends and caused them to miss important important life events such as weddings and birthdays roughly 40 percent said it has ruined time spent with family and caused them to lose focus when they were with them so i think this just further drives home the point is decompress be with your family but at that point you, you can't keep going back and forth you can't i can't you got it you can't have two masters so either works your master uh, and there's a part of the day that that's appropriate or your family's your master and that's appropriate too you you know, I, the question I get asked a lot by young uh, entrepreneurs is, how do I know when I've worked too much? Mm. How do I know? How will I know? Hey, Whitney Houston, I think. It's song. Wait, and what does that mean? What does that, what does that, I mean, how do, what, how do I, what, I mean, what? what? You're saying it weird. No, I didn't saying say it weird. What's weird? No. All of it. What? Where do you get off? I just don't, I don't get why you're saying it that way. Why well, I'm saying quite You said it a little way. weird. I, okay. I, well, I will. I will. That's a question I get asked a lot. Yeah. And I sit there and I listen to them and I nod and I'm focusing on them. 
and and they're just pouring their heart out and they just want this formula they want to know the hours they want to know by what time i need to be home they want to know what time i need to get up in the morning i mean they're just there's just so struggling on to know how much is too much and i looked at them and i said here's the key here's the key when you know that it's time for the pendulum to swing back the other direction all right your spouse will let you know true truth cannon right there truth bomb that's what it sounds like too if you if yes. you play in the if you play the rest of the audio that's what it sounds like when your spouse lets you know that's and the key is is to listen to them do not argue with them and say yes significant other you are correct and this week we're going to fix it and so then the pendulum swings back. And so it's one of those things where you're the, the, the people that that need you and the people that you're supposed to be with will let you know if you're not with them enough. And that's a, you know, and, and, and work up to that point and just say, hey, listen, you know, whenever it gets when I'm not here enough and you need me here, you know, you make sure and let me know and they'll let you know. I think um, one little thing I want to add on here, a little parting shot on that is it, it, going eyes wide open about trade offs. If you have to trade off time with this for that. Know about it. You can yeah. plan it out a little bit. You can go, hey, you know what? I might have to give up, get up early morning to stay caught up on paperwork. Or I might have to, after my kids go to bed, do that. But you, eyes I, wide open. I love your move during the football season, by the way. You say, listen, family, daddy gets to watch the New England Patriots play. True. It could be Monday night. It could be Sunday night. It could be whatever it is. It has to happen. That, that's, that's, that's daddy time. And I'm going to carve that out. Yes. And so that's, here's the schedule and that's going to happen. And I get one, I get one and you've, and you've negotiated that. Yeah. You know, oh, you've yeah. negotiated it and that's kind of your move. And I, and I love that. You, you know, it's not like you're trying to watch them all and, and all that. And, uh, but you've got your one zone and you, and you do it. 16 games, baby. Playoffs usually. So we 18. <laughs> <laughs> Preseason, too. I haven't quite coached that yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's pre- another uh, negotiations. It's yeah. all about negotiating. Good. Clay, give us the action steps for decompression after work. Give us the action steps here. All right. Well, step one is you need to block out time to decompress to Z's point. You have to have some time to apply the brakes. You can't go in there and go, done. You have to allow a little bit of time. Second is I highly recommend listening to your spouse. Just listen to your spouse. Don't If you, if you want to cut your net worth in half, get divorced. Third thing I would highly recommend, I'd highly recommend for everybody, is just know the trade-offs know what you're willing to compromise and what you're not know if you're going to if you're willing to miss games or not and know if it's worth it or not and just know about it be aware of those trade-offs because if not you're going to live a life of regret i didn't sacrifice enough to make my business big enough i didn't sacrifice enough for family just know the trade-offs maybe you just have to kill watching tv not kill family time but you know just kill watching tv or kill something else so z anything else no, it just reminds me of that song. And maybe I wish we had it queued up. You know, little little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming home, dad, I don't oh, know boy. when. We'll get together soon. Yeah, and, and, if, and if you can't get emotional enough about, about making those choices, just listen to that song about 27 times in a row. <laughs> By then, you'll be broken down. You'll be crying. You'll be like, I got to go home and see my family. And that's a, that's a, that, that's. So block off that time, block off that area where you decompress. Don't do a halting break, okay? Schedule some time out to do it. Guys, thank you very much for uh, getting into answering this Thrivers question. And Thrivers, if you have a question, email us at info at thrive15.com. You can get the full transcript as well as the video version of the podcast today and uh, all the downloadables and the mystic statistics that we cited there in the show notes. Awesome. Bang. Bang. Boom. JT, do you know what time it is? Um, four ten. It's <laughs> it's Tebow time in Tulsa, oh. Jerusalem, baby. Tim Tebow is coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma, June twenty seventh and twenty eighth. We've been doing business conferences here uh, since two thousand five. I've been hosting business conferences since two thousand five. What year were you born? Um, uh, nineteen ninety five. Dude, I've been hosting business conferences since you were 10 years old, but I've never had to the two-time Heisman Award winning Tim Tebow come present. And a lot of people, you know, have followed Tim Tebow's football career on the field uh, and off the field. And off the field, the guy's been just as successful as he has been on the field. Now, the big question is, JT, how does he do it? Mm. 
Well, they're going to have to come and find out because I don't know. Well, I'm just no. saying, Tip Tebow is going to teach us how he organizes his day, how he organizes his life, how he's proactive with his faith, his family, his finances. He's going to walk us through his mindset that he brings into the gym, into business. It is going to be a blasty blast in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Also, this is the first uh, Thrive Time show event that we've had where we're going to have a man who has built a $100 million net worth. Wow. He'll be presenting. Now, we've had a couple presenters that have um, have had a billion dollar net worth mm. um in some like real estate sort of things yeah but this is the first time we've had a guy who's built a service business and he's built over a hundred million dollar net worth in the service business it's the yacht driving uh multi-state living guru of franchising peter taunton will be in the house this is the founder of snap fitness the guy behind nine round boxing he's going to be here in tulsa Jerusalem, tulsa Jerusalem, oklahoma june 27th and 28th JT, why should everybody want to hear what Peter Totten has to say? Oh, because he's incredible. He's just a fountain of knowledge. He is awesome. He has uh, inspired me listening to him talk. And not only that, he also has, uh, he practices what he teaches. So he's a real teacher. He's not a fake teacher like business school teachers. So you got to come learn from him. Also, let me tell you this, folks. I don't want to get this wrong because if I get it wrong, um, someone's going to say, you screwed that up, buddy. So Michael <laughs> Levine, this is Michael Levine. He's going to be coming. You say, Who, who's Michael Levine? I, I don't want to get this wrong. This is the PR consultant of choice for Michael Jackson, wow. for Prince, wow. for Nike, for mm. Charlton Heston, for Nancy mm. Kerrigan, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestselling authors he's represented, including pretty much everybody you know who's been a super celebrity. This is Michael Levine, a good friend of mine. He's going to come and talk to you about personal branding and the mindset needed to be super successful. The lineup will continue to grow. We have hit Christian recording artist Colton Dixon in the house. Now, people say, Colton Dixon's in the house? Yes, Colton Dixon's in the house. So if you like top 40 Christian music, Colton Dixon's going to be in the house performing. The lineup will continue to grow each and every day. We're going to add more and more speakers to this all-star lineup. But I encourage everybody out there today get those tickets today go to thrivetimeshow.com again that's thrivetimeshow.com and some people might be saying well how do i do it what do i do how does it work you just go to thrivetimeshow.com let's go there now we're feeling the flow we're going to thrive 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 again you just go to thrivetimeshow.com you click on the business conferences button and you click on the request tickets button right there um the way i do our conferences is we tell people it's 250 dollars to get a ticket yep or whatever price that you can afford and the reason why I do that is I grew up without money. Uh, JT, you're in the process of building a super successful company. Um, yep. Did you start out with a million dollars in the bank account? No, I did not. Nope, did not get any loans, nothing like that. Did not get an inheritance from parents or anything like that. I had to work for it, and I, uh, I'm super grateful I came to a business conference. That's actually how I met you, met Peter Taunton. I met all these people. So if you're out there today and you want to come to our workshop, again, you just got to go to thrivetimeshow.com. You might say, well, when's it going to be? June 27th and 28th. You might say, well, who's speaking? We already covered that. You might say, where's it going to be? It's going to be in Tulsa, Jerusalem, Oklahoma. And so it says Tulsa, Jerusalem. Uh, it's, I'm really trying to rebrand Tulsa as Tulsa, Jerusalem, sort of like the Jerusalem of America. But if you go to, if you type in Thrive Time Show and Jinx, you can get a sneak peek or a look at our office facility. This is what it looks like. This is where you're headed. It's going to be a blasty blast. You can look inside, see the facility. We're going to have hundreds of entrepreneurs here. It is going to be packed. Now, for this particular event, folks, uh, the seating is always limited because my facility isn't a limitless um convention center you're coming to my actual home office and so it's going to be packed so when june 27th and 28th who you you're going to come who you I, I, i'm talking to you you can just get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com and again you can name your price we tell people it's 250 dollars or whatever price you can afford and we do have some select vip tickets which gives you an access to meet some of the speakers and those sorts of things and those tickets are 500 dollars. it's a two-day interactive business workshop over 20 hours of business training we're going to give you a copy of my newest book the millionaire's guide to becoming sustainably rich you're going to leave with a workbook you're going to leave with everything you need to know to start and grow a super successful company it's practical it's actionable and it's tebow time right here in Tulsa, Jerusalem. Get those tickets today at thrivetimeshow.com. Again, that's thrivetimeshow.com. Hello, I'm Michael Levine, and I'm talking to you right now from the center of Hollywood, California, where I have represented over the last 35 years 58 Academy Award winners, 34 Grammy Award winners, 43 New York Times bestsellers. I've represented a lot of major stars, and I've worked with a lot of major companies.
things. And I think I've learned a few things about what makes them work and what makes them not work. Now, why would a man living in Hollywood, California, in the beautiful sunny weather of LA, come to Tulsa? Because last year I did it and it was damn exciting. Clay Clark has put together an exceptional uh, presentation, really life-changing. And I'm looking forward to seeing you then. I'm Michael Levine. I'll see you in Tulsa. James, did I tell you my good friend John Lee Dumas is also joining us at the in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? That Tim Tebow and that uh, Michael Levine will be at. Have I told you this? You have not told me that. Oh, he's coming all the way from Puerto Rico. This is John Lee Dumas, the host of the Chart Topping EOFire.com podcast. He's absolutely a living legend. This guy started a podcast after uh, uh, wrapping up his service in the United States military. And he started recording this podcast daily in his home to the point where he started interviewing big time folks like Gary Vaynerchuk, like Tony Robbins. And he just kept interviewing bigger and bigger names, putting out shows day after day. And now he is the legendary host of the EO Fire podcast. And he's traveling all the way from Puerto Rico to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to attend the in-person June 27th and 28th Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshop if you're out there today folks you've ever wanted to grow a podcast a broadcast you want to get an, you want to improve your marketing if you've ever wanted to improve your marketing your branding if you've ever wanted to increase your sales you want to come to the two-day interactive june 27th and 28th drive time show business workshop featuring tim tebow michael levine john lee dumas and countless big time super successful entrepreneurs it's going to be life-changing get your tickets right now at thrivetimeshow.com james what website is that thrivetimeshow.com james one more time before enthusiasm thrivetimeshow.com everything rides on two night even if i got three strikes i'ma go for it this moment we own it eh? i'm not to be played with because it could get dangerous see these people i ride with this moment we own it Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, and I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever. And we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. 
now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Harvard Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Today I'm broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're closed, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, Definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also, but very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts and so Mr. Clay Clark, he's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man. And there's so many ways we could take this thing. But I thought, uh, since you and Eric are close, Trump, what were you saying about what Trump can't, what Donald, who's my yeah. age, and I can say or cannot say. What, well, I have to, first of all, I have to honor you, sir. I want to show you what I did to one of your books here. There's all a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. Well, not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. But anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not a thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, Changed My Life, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba, watch what a person does, not what they say. Whoa! Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy, I'm originally from Tulsa, born and raised here. I went to a small private liberal arts college and got a degree in business. And I didn't learn anything like they're teaching here. I didn't learn linear workflows. I learned stuff that I'm not using and I haven't been using for the last nine years. So what they're teaching here is actually way better than what I got at business school. And I went what was actually ranked as a very good business school. The linear workflow, the linear workflow for us and getting everything out on paper and documented is really important. Um, Like we have workflows that are kind of all over the place to the Having linear workflow and seeing that mapped out on multiple different boards uh, is pretty awesome. That's really helpful for me. The atmosphere here is awesome. I definitely just stared at the walls figuring out how to make my facility look like this place. This place rocks. It's invigorating. The walls are super, um, it's just very cool. The atmosphere is cool. The people are nice. Uh, It's a pretty cool place to be. Very good learning atmosphere. I literally want to model it and steal everything that's here at this facility and uh, basically create it just on our business side. Once I saw what they were doing, I knew I had to get here at the conference. This is probably the best conference or seminar I've ever been to in over 30 years of business. You're not bored. You're awake, alive the whole time. It's not pushy. They don't try to sell you a bunch of things. I was looking to learn how to just get control of my life, my schedule, and just get a control of the business. Planning your time, breaking it all down, making time for the, you know, the F6 in your life, and just really implementing it and sticking with the program. It's really lively. He's, they're pretty friendly, uh, helpful. 
Yeah, I'm very welcoming. I attended a conference a couple months back and it was really the best business conference I've ever attended. At the workshop, I learned a lot about time management, um, really prioritizing what's the most important. The biggest takeaways are, you know, you want to take a step-by-step -step approach to your business. Whether it's marketing, you know, what are those three marketing tools that you want to use to human resources. Now, some of the most successful people and successful businesses in this town, their owners were here today because they wanted to know more from Clay and I found that to be kind of fascinating. The most valuable thing that I've learned is diligence. That businesses don't change overnight. It takes time and effort and you gotta go through the ups and downs of getting it to where you wanna go. He actually gives you the road map out. I was stuck, didn't know what to do, and he gave me the road map out step by step. We've set up systems in the business that make my life much easier, allow me some time freedom. Here you can ask any question you want, they guarantee it'll be answered. This conference like motivates me and also give me a lot of knowledge and tools. It's up to you to do this. Um, everybody can do these things, there's stuff that everybody knows, but if you don't do it, nobody else can do it for you. I can see the marketing working. And it, it's just an approach that makes sense. Probably the most notable thing is just the, the income increase that we've had. Everyone's super fun, it's super motivating. Uh, I've been here before, but I'm back again because it motivates me. Your competition's going to come eventually or try to pick up these tactics. So you better, you, if you don't, somebody else will. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house. Right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See? Uh, nice, right? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman, so we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts, and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew to 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you, times a thousand. So we really just want to thank you, Clay, and thank you, Vanessa, for everything you've done, everything you've helped us with. We love you guys. If you decide to not attend the Thrive Time Workshop, you're missing out on a great opportunity. The atmosphere at Clay's office is very lively. You can feel the energy as soon as you walk through the door. And it really got me and my team very excited. If you decide not to come, you're missing out on an opportunity to grow your business, bottom line. Love the environment. I love the way that Clay presents and teaches. It's a way that not only allows me to comprehend what's going on, but he explains it in a way to where it just makes sense. The SEO optimization, branding, marketing, I've learned more in the last two days than I have the entire four years of college. The most valuable thing that I've learned Marketing is key. Uh, marketing is everything. Making sure that you're branded accurately and clearly. How to grow a business using Google reviews and then just how to optimize our name through our website also. Helpful with uh, a lot of marketing, search engine optimization, um, uh, helping us really rank high in Google. The biggest thing I needed to learn was 
how to build my foundation, how to systemize everything and optimize everything, build my SEO. How to become more organized, uh, more efficient. How to make sure the business is really there to serve me, as opposed to me constantly being there for the business. New ways of advertising my business, as well as recruiting new employees. Group interviews, number one. Uh, before we felt like we were held hostage by our employees. Group interviews has completely eliminated that because you're able to really find the people that would really be the best fit. Hands on how to hire people, how to deal with human resources, uh, a lot about marketing and overall just how to structure the business, how it works for me and also then how that can translate into working better for my clients. The most valuable thing I've learned here is time management. I like the one hour of doing your business is real critical if I'm going to grow and change. Play really teaches you how to navigate through those things and not only find freedom, but find your purpose in your business and find the purposes for all those other people that directly affect your business as well. Everybody. 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 Everyone. Everyone needs to attend the conference because you get an opportunity to see that it's real.